Welcome to our channel. Today, we're counting down the top 10 romantic comedy Turkish series that will warm your heart and make you laugh. Let's dive in. Number 1. Karalik Ash, Love for Rent. Defna Topol, a hardworking waitress, faces a tough decision when her brother's debt pushes her into a desperate situation. As she juggles responsibilities for her grandmother and siblings, a chance encounter with Omer Aplikshi, a man escaping a blind date, leads to an unexpected misbehavior that changes everything. This misbehavior is witnessed by Omer's aunt, Nariman, who concocts a plan to find a wife for Omer to appease his grandfather. Nariman offers Defna 400,000 liras to make Omer fall in love with her and marry him. But Defna only accepts half to clear her brother's debts. Unbeknownst to her, she's starting a complicated journey as she begins working as Omer's personal assistant, where she realizes he's the man from Themis' behavior. Her mission is to win his heart and then walk away. As their relationship develops, Defna finds herself genuinely falling for Omer. However, when the truth comes out about her initial intentions, she fears losing him forever. Meanwhile, Omer, an orphan who runs a shoe company, struggles with his own demons as he navigates life in Istanbul. The plot thickens when Sinan, Omer's best friend, also falls for Defna, complicating matters further. Just as everything seems to fall apart, Pashani, their company, faces financial ruin due to a betrayal. Defna emerges as a crucial force in holding things together. Despite their growing love, secrets come to light, leading Omer to believe he's been deceived. Heartbroken, he leaves Istanbul, while Defna is left to pick up the pieces. As time passes, Sinan realizes the truth behind Defna's actions and encourages Omer to return. The series culminates in a heartfelt reunion where Omer must confront his feelings for Defna and the mistakes of the past. Will they find their way back to each other, or will fate keep them apart? Their journey is filled with passion, heartbreak, and the vibrant backdrop of Istanbul, showcasing both the beauty and challenges of love. Number 2. Ask Yenidin, In Love Again Zeynep, a spirited girl from Istanbul, lives with her devoted fisherman father, Shevket. In love with Ertan, she elopes to America, hoping for a bright future. However, when Zeynep discovers she's pregnant, Ertan pressures her to abort the baby and ultimately abandons her. Heartbroken, she returns to Turkey after 10 challenging months with her newborn son, Selim. Meanwhile, Fadi Sekerçizayd, from an elite Turkish family, feels suffocated by his mother's expectations and a betrothal to a girl he doesn't love. Seeking freedom, he travels to America, where he falls for summer, only to be rejected. Disheartened, he heads back to Turkey. On the flight home, turbulence brings Zeynep and Fadi together. Desperate to escape his family's demands, Fadid proposes a fake marriage Zeynep and Selim will pose as his wife and son. Zeynep, wanting to avoid the awkwardness of explaining her situation, agrees. Once in Istanbul, Fadid introduces Zeynep to his family, who initially accept her, except for his mother, Mukads, who despises Zeynep and Selim. Zeynep also introduces Fadid to her family, who are cautious but ultimately supportive, although Shefkit is upset about her past. Tensions rise when Orhan, Zeynep's cousin, abducts Fada's sister Selin, leading to a rift between the families. As they navigate their complicated lives, Zeynep shares her past with Fadi, and he grows to love Selim as his own. However, Zeynep's long-lost mother, Mariam, returns, creating chaos. Misunderstandings arise, and Zeynep distances herself from her family, feeling betrayed. Despite the turmoil, Fada proposes to Zeynep again, and they decide to marry secretly. Yet, guilt about their hidden truths leads Zeynep to urge Fada to come clean to their families. The revelation causes a fallout, with Fada disowning his family for Zeynep and Selim. They move in with Zeynep's supportive family, adjusting to their new life together. As they settle in, unexpected challenges arise, including Fada's need to find work to support their new household. Zeynep's friendship with Selin grows as they both navigate their newfound independence. Just as they find happiness, Vahit, a family rival, abducts Zeynep and threatens her safety. In a dramatic twist, Ertan reappears with an antidote when Zeynep is poisoned. Tensions rise as Fada's family realizes their mistakes and begins to accept Zeynep and Selim. 
Amidst the chaos, Fadeh and Zainab plan a public divorce to shield their relationship from Mukad's manipulations. Their scheme involves pretending to fight and break up, but the families are devastated by the Ruse. As grief envelops both households, Fadeh and Zainab's love grows stronger, leading to a wedding day filled with unexpected revelations. Will their bond withstand the trials, or will family pressures tear them apart? In Love Again unfolds the journey of Zainab and Fadeh, exploring the themes of love, family, and the complexities of forging a life together against the odds. Number 3. Her Yurd Sen, Everywhere I Go Selen is a hardworking young woman excited to buy her first home, a charming little house she believes is perfect. Meanwhile, Demir, a successful businessman, decides to return to his roots and purchase his childhood home. However, both are shocked to discover that they've unwittingly bought only half of the property as it belongs to a family embroiled in conflict. To complicate matters further, Selen learns that her company has been taken over by none other than Demir. With their lives intertwined both at home and work, they can't ignore the undeniable chemistry that sparks between them. As tensions rise in both settings, their initial friction gradually gives way to romance, setting the stage for a charming love story. This series quickly becomes a hit in Turkey, captivating audiences with its blend of passion and humor. Number 4. Kiraz Mevsimi, Cherry Season Oiku's biggest dream is to become a successful fashion designer. She lives with her mother, Meryl, and little brother, Sam Ken. She's been in love with her best friend, Berku's brother, Meat, since childhood. But Meat does not feel the same. One day, Meat falls in love with Oiku's selfish friend, Seima, so Oiku gives up on Meat. Oiku then accidentally meets Meat's best friend and business partner, Ayaz Dinser. Ayaz is a very handsome man. He falls in love with Oiku right away, and even if she pushes him away, he keeps coming back. One day, Burku, Oiku's friend, sends a box of chocolates and a love note to her brother, but she signs it with Oiku's name. When Oiku finds out, she runs to Meet's office to take the present with the note before he sees it. When she arrives, Ayaz has already seen the present and is shocked to see it come from Oiku. He discovers that the girl he likes is in love with his best friend. In that moment, Meet arrives and asks who that gift is for. Oiku, ashamed and afraid of his reaction, says that she brought the gift for Ayaz and tells Meet that she's in love with his friend. But of course, it's a lie. So Ayaz and Oiku pretend to be a couple until they start falling in love for real. Number 5. Benim Tattle Yalanam, My Sweet Lie. Najat, after marrying his college sweetheart Ilan, finds his life turned upside down when she leaves him and their daughter Kyra due to postpartum depression. To protect Kyra from the truth, Najat spins a tale, claiming Aelin is in Africa helping children, and backs it up with letters he writes in Aelin's name. In his neighborhood, Najat meets Suna, who runs a quaint family cafe. When Suna visits his home, Kyra mistakes her for her long-absent mother, believing she's returned for her sixth birthday. Unable to reveal the truth, Najat and Suna enter a delicate charade, with Suna acting as a hired mother. As they navigate this unexpected situation, Neja and Suna grow closer, forming a genuine bond and slowly becoming a family. Just as happiness seems within reach, Aelin unexpectedly reappears, forcing them to confront the challenges and complexities of their new life together. Number 6. Ada Maisel Be My Sunshine Hasiran is a driven city girl, thriving on the hustle of Istanbul and deeply committed to her career. Her life takes an unexpected turn when her company sends her to a remote Aegean island to prepare for a new resort project. There, she meets Poirez, a nature-loving man who runs a small olive oil factory, valuing tranquility over social interaction. Sparks fly between them and a romance blossoms, but Hazaran soon discovers that it's Poirez's land her company intends to exploit. Her actions lead to the shutdown of his factory, shattering his dreams and jeopardizing the town's future. Meanwhile, Haziran faces her own crisis as her mother risks losing their family home. Determined to make amends, Haziran joins forces with Poiraz to create a boutique hotel that preserves his factory and saves her mother's home. Through this journey, both Haziran and Poiraz grow and learn from each other, discovering new paths to happiness and love. Number 7. Yeni Gelin, New Bride 
Bella, an educated and well-traveled young woman from an aristocratic family, dreams of meeting her fairy tale prince. When she falls for a man from an Eastern Turkish tribe at university, she eagerly agrees to marry him, seeing it as the start of an exotic adventure, despite her parents' concerns. Their wedding is a grand affair, and Bella feels welcomed into her new family. However, her fairy tale quickly turns into a nightmare when she discovers that, as the new bride, she is at the bottom of the family hierarchy, expected to serve rather than be cherished. Bella's modern sensibilities clash with traditional expectations, and instead of fitting into her assigned role, she becomes the troublesome bride, challenging the norms of her new life. As she navigates her way through family dynamics and cultural differences, Bella's story captures the hearts of viewers, making New Bride a massive hit on Turkish television, leading to a highly anticipated second season. Number 8. Ashk, Mantic, Intikam, Love, Reason, Get Even. A financially troubled family seeks a steady job in her future husband to ensure financial stability. She marries Ozan, an engineering genius who has always loved her and seems capable of providing the stability she desires. However, Ozan's decision to leave his steady job to pursue his own software venture leads to financial strain. SRA, who had envisioned a comfortable life, becomes the sole breadwinner, facing mounting stress and difficulties. As Ozan's business dreams falter and he faces multiple bankruptcies, SRA struggles to keep their finances afloat. The pressure eventually results in a miscarriage, prompting her to file for divorce without revealing the loss. She returns to her parents' home, working as a waitress, while Ozan finds success and becomes a wealthy CEO. Two years later, SRA learns of Ozan's newfound success and confronts him, hoping for an apology and acknowledgement of her sacrifices. Instead, Ozan's cold and arrogant demeanor shocks her, leading him to offer her money to leave him alone. Angered, ESRA decides to exact revenge by becoming an intern at his company, Millenniumsoft, where she hopes to rekindle his love. Complicating matters, Ozan's friend Sinar also joins the company as an intern and forms a bond with SRA. The series, Love Logic Revenge, explores whether Ozan will ever understand and forgive SRA if she will succeed at Millenniumsoft, and whether their love can be rekindled amidst the tangled emotions and revenge plan. Number 9. Atesh Bochegi Firefly. Barris, second Ozdemir, is a 35-year-old successful lawyer who prides himself on understanding people at a glance. His seemingly predictable life changes dramatically when he takes on a new lawsuit. Barris's car, borrowed by his nephew Haken, Umar Yijit Vanley, is implicated in a hit-and-run accident through a blackmail video showing the car hitting a young girl and fleeing. Though the license plate is visible, the driver isn't identified and Barris's family suspects Haken, who claims the car was stolen during his birthday party. Without a police report, Barris must find the real culprit before the video is made public. Barris and his friend Teo, Kagri Sitna, track down the injured girl's aunt, Asli Nele Denise, a determined taxi driver nicknamed Firefly, who is already investigating the accident herself. Asli, proud and independent, has identified potential license plates linked to the car, but needs more time to solve the case. To keep Astley under surveillance, Teo offers her a job as Barris's private driver in exchange for Barris handling her case for free. As Barris and Astley grow closer, their initial professional relationship deepens into something more personal. Barris struggles to keep his secret while Astley grapples with working under another person. Their journey is filled with romance and tension as they both seek to uncover the truth behind the accident and navigate their growing feelings for each other. According to me, this is what a rom-com should be funny, well-paced, and romantic, with a satisfying ending and a few villains to add some intrigue. Although I'm a bit late with my review, I vividly remember watching this series during the summer of 2017. With only 17 episodes, it's a surprisingly underrated gem in the rom-com genre. Second Ozdemir, the male lead, is particularly impressive, blending stunning looks with versatile acting skills, yet he remains underrated. The chemistry between Sechkin and Nile Danis, Astley, is outstanding, making their on-screen partnership, a spar, unforgettable. I was genuinely heartbroken when the series was cancelled due to low ratings, and I still hold a grudge against the channel for it. Despite the show's cancellation, I recommend it to rom-com fans, it's a delightful watch with plenty of laughs and endearing moments. The humor is consistent, 
and the chemistry between the leads is electric. Nile Danese's performance, especially her emotional scene in the shower, was exceptional and showcased her talent, though she remains underappreciated. The series could have continued if both leads had been single, but Nile's marriage during the show's run was unfortunate. The story's blend of romance, conflict, and humor makes it a fantastic experience. Overall, Atespochegi offers a well rounded mix of romance, drama, and comedy, leaving a lasting impression on its viewer. Number 10. Tattle Intikum, Sweet Revenge. Helen, Layla Lydia Tagutlu, is a beautiful young woman who has never found lasting happiness in love. She finally thinks she's found it with Tolga, Jan Nurgis, her prince charming. But on their wedding day, he leaves her, plunging her into deep depression. She soon realizes her misfortune stems from past actions and that she must seek forgiveness to find true happiness. Helen reflects on her past and discovers she needs to apologize to Tankit, Firkin and Ange whom she humiliated in college. Tankit, now known as Sinan, has transformed dramatically since that time. After being shamed, he left college, went abroad, and became a successful chef with a thriving restaurant. He returns to Turkey as a confident and handsome man, now operating under his new identity. Pelin believes she can easily win Sinan's forgiveness, but he harbors resentment and plans to exact revenge. In the series, Tatli Intikam, Sweet Revenge, the story unfolds in the setting of Sinan's restaurant, where Pelin must navigate a challenging path to seek forgiveness. Will Pelin succeed in mending their relationship and finding redemption? Can Sinan overcome his desire for revenge and reconcile with Pelin? According to me with its impressive cast, this series had the potential to be a 10 by 10. Many of the actors are familiar from other shows, but the series falls short due to poor script writing and plot inconsistencies. It should have wrapped up a few episodes earlier. Instead, the writers introduced new characters without properly resolving existing storylines. The handling of Sinan's disappearance is particularly vague and poorly executed. Despite these flaws, the series remains watchable and features a visually appealing cast. The storyline is intriguing, and the actors, including Firk and Andik, are talented. However, the ending was a major letdown. The final episode felt rushed, leaving unresolved threads such as Barris and his sister's fates, the wedding, Sinan's overseas journey, and Rosger's storyline. The show had promise with its plot and actors, but the lack of a satisfying conclusion overshadowed its strengths. I expected more episodes to address these issues, but instead, the series abruptly concluded. Although Firkin Andik's performance was solid, his chemistry with the female lead felt lacking. Overall, the series was a disappointing watch for me, it lacked romance and humor and failed to engage, leaving me feeling it was a waste of time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our countdown of the top 10 romantic comedy Turkish series, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your favorites in the comments below. See you next time.